behind me, these are the irises. They're beautiful. I got them from my friend Sherry. And they, some of them still have buds opening, but some of the buds have wilted. So I'm going to cut just the wilted buds. So the flower right here is wilted, but this one is new and this one is definitely wilted. This one is just wilting and then there's another bud below it. So I'm going to cut off the wilted, the very wilted, and the just wilting. Oh, and this one actually has a seed pod growing. So I'm just going to cut that off and that off and this off. And that's it. And there are more flowers growing down there. There are some lighter purple irises. This one is still nice and beautiful. This is a new bud coming out, and this is a wilted one. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Oops. And this one. The irises, the leaves always show some wilting. They turn brown, so you can just cut above the brown or you can pull them out. Like these little wisps can come out. They just easily pull up. If you have a leaf like this, you can just cut it and it looks fresh. Here are some more irises with some withered flowers. Here. This looks totally withered all the way. I can't tell if there's another bud right here or not. So I'm going to leave that, but this is a bud. They do also easily just pop out. Just be careful not to that. break the ones that are not ready to die. So if you're careful, you can definitely just break them off like I was saying. Um, you just don't want to break any buds that are still going to bloom. So you want to I can't focus. You want to hold this stem and break it this one off without breaking this one, which could be easy to do. But this is the seed pod right here. Let's see if we can squeeze some seeds out. Oh, they're really tiny, like caviar. My fingers are dirty, but basically, they're gonna focus. There. And then, 
You can see them inside here. Those are all seeds. I've never grown iris from seeds. These are the first iris I've ever grown. They were given to me as corms. But anyway, that'd be interesting, I guess. And they smell so good. To me, they smell like an otter pop or like grape or something. I love it. It's been a few days since I recorded the how to dead head irises video and I'm on the other side of the house where you can see behind me there are these irises that are completely spent. I don't see any buds forming so I'm going to just cut it down all the way down here and this one is just wrapped up in a clematis so ignore that but I'll show you what to do. So I have my trusty pruners. And I'm just going to follow the stem all the way down to the leaves and cut. And there it is. Now that all these seed heads, seed pods, spent irises are gone, it looks nice and tidy. And here they are. I did cut off the top leaf just because it looked awkward, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect the plant at all.
few more here, but this one you can see still has the bud right there. And I think that's it. The other ones are dead. Well, not dead, but not going to flower anymore. So for this one, I'm just going to cut above it. Cut this spent one off. Maybe I'll just pull it off. This one is coming all the way down. Maybe I'll leave that leaf. And then, same with this one. All the way down. Okay, and then for irises, the last thing to deal with is the leaves. You can see on this one there are some wilted leaves. I'm just going to pull them up super easy. The leaves just kind of wither and you can either pull them or if you want you could cut them off but it's unnecessary usually. Yeah and that's it. I mean you can really fuss with it but that's all it needs. The campanula is budding. <laughs> 